darling. No, oh, come on. Don't ignore me, please. You know I love to talk to you. For hours and hours and hours. Sometimes I don't even let you sleep, do I? But that's fine, isn't it? It's not like you have anyone else to talk to you. We both know I'm your only friend. Oh, my dear. Of course I'm your friend. And of course I'm real. <laughs> After one whole month of me talking to you, you still think I'm just a hallucination? Just something your mind created to make you feel less lonely? <laughs> An imaginary friend? No, no, no. I am very much real. I exist. And I'm right here in front of you. Doesn't that make you feel so relieved? <laughs> it doesn't. Darling, if I had a heart, it would have been broken because of your cruelty. Let you sleep? No. I don't think I will. Tonight, I feel like talking to you for the whole night. Until the break of dawn, when you'll have to get up to go to that shitty job of yours. So, how about I tell you all about when I used to torture souls in hell? Again, and again, and again. Well, you already know what you have to do to make me leave you alone. Just that little favor I told you about when we met the first time. Remember? When you moved into this apartment, and I scared the crap out of you in the middle of the night? That was funny. You don't remember? Well, with all the shit that's happened in your pathetic little life, I'm not surprised. You have other things to worry about, you know, besides the demonic voice inside your head. Before you, the person who lived here used to be very curious about the supernatural world. He was a collector of mystic objects and books, and one of the books he owned was about summoning demons. He tried to summon me, but he had a heart attack before completing the ritual and died. Since then, I'm stuck between hell and earth, without a physical body. That's why you can only hear me and not see me. That's easy, dear. To complete the ritual, all you have to do is stand in the middle of the summoning circle and say, in a loud voice, that you accept me and that you want to let me in. Repeat this sentence three times and voila. I get to finally be free and you can go back to sleeping all night long without me to disturb you. Simple, no? The summoning circle is right there, under your bed. Once a summoning circle is drawn, it cannot be erased easily. After the other human died, the apartment's owner couldn't erase a circle and just put a big ugly rug on top of it. I'm very surprised you never even moved the rug. I, personally, wouldn't be caught dead living in a place with that monstrosity on the floor. 
You're going to complete the ritual. Really? Yes, of course I'll leave you in peace if you finish the summoning. That's all I want. All right. Then move your bed out of the way and take the rug off of the circle. Stand in the middle of it and repeat the sentence I told you before. Don't forget you have to say it three times in a row. Are you ready? Go on and say it. Go on and finally let me in. What's wrong? Why are you just standing there? You seem... hesitant. What's on your mind, darling? Come on, you can tell me. Tell me what's wrong. You can trust me. You're not sure if you should listen to me? Why? Because I'm a demon? <laughs> so you think all demons are bad, is that it? Just because you heard somewhere, one time, that all demons are evil creatures, you decided to believe it. Do you believe everything people say to you? Mm, that's why your ex cheated on you. <laughs> you are so naive. Oh, don't make that face. You know that I'm telling the truth. You are naive. Easy to manipulate. A coward. And a crybaby. But I can change all that, you know. Once you finish the ritual, I can help you become better. That ox of yours? I can teach them a lesson that they'll never forget. I can deal with your boss, too. You know, the one that forces you to stay behind to work extra hours. I can take care of your lazy co-workers that make you do their job so that they can gossip during the whole shift. I can make you more confident. I can transform you into the best version of yourself. You just need to let me in. Come on. Let me in. You know you want it. To let me in. Just let me in. Let me in. Let me in. Let me in. Let me in, human. Let me in. Let, let me, me in, in now. <sighs> Good choice. Now let's start, my dear. Repeat after me. I accept you, and I want to let you in. Again. Again. Yes. Yes. It's happening. It's working. Finally. I'm free. <laughs> oh, darling. What's with that face? Are you scared? Are you wondering why you're losing control of your own body? <laughs> Well, you didn't think I could come to the human world without a physical body, did you? Demons need a body to possess to be able to roam freely in the human realm. That human from before knew this, and he was so excited to be my receptacle. 
What he didn't know was that his stupid body was too weak to receive me. How dare a mere mortal like him think, even for a second, that he was good enough to be mine. <laughs> I rejected him before he could complete the ritual. That's why he died. And I got stuck between realms, and I thought I would stay like that for eternity. But then you came along, and as soon as I saw you, I knew that you were perfect for me. Like you were made specifically to be mine, to be possessed by me. My beautiful little puppet. Oh, don't be scared. It's okay. Everything's alright. Don't fight it. It'll only make it painful for you. Just let the darkness embrace you, darling. You'll feel so good once I'm completely inside of you. We were made for each other. You knew it. You can feel it, too. You need me. You don't have anyone by your side. No one likes you. No one supports you. No one sees you like I do. That's it. Give it up and let me do what I need to do. Let me inside. Good human. Good. Darling, let me in and feel our connection, how much I want you, how much I need you, how much I adore you and desire you. From now on, I'm the only one for you, and you're the only one for me. We are complete, and we are one. We will be together forever, dear. <sighs> Finally, the ritual is complete. I'm in complete possession of your body. I mean, our body. Our hands. Our arms. Our legs. Our beautiful body. Now let me look in the mirror. I want to see us. Oh, look at that. We're gorgeous. How dare they? All those people that made you dirty. We'll make them pay for it. Won't we? Well... Now that we are one, what makes you sad makes me sad too. What makes you angry makes me angry. All of your feelings are mine as well. And I was serious when I said I could take care of those people who made your life a nightmare. I can and I will. We will. No, you won't disappear just because I'm possessing you. We're like roommates. We live together now. Oh, poor little human. You were scared that you were going to disappear. Don't worry about that. You won't. You're the original owner of this body, so I kind of need you alive and well, right here next to me. I told you that we were in this together. Relax, human. You're gonna get used to this sensation. It's not that bad, is it? And 
And the good news is, I can only control this body during the night, when I'm stronger. During the day, it's all yours. I'll just be in your head, resting while you control it. Like you're in my head right now. In simpler terms, we'll take turns. Well, you don't need to worry. You'll see how it all works later. Anyway, I want to go out and have some fun. What do you say? Sleep? <laughs> Are you kidding me? You can go to sleep if you want. I'll go out and about. But, if you sleep, you're going to miss what I have planned for your boss. And that shitty ex. Don't you want to see what I'm going to do? That's right. Tonight, I'll pay them a little visit. Show them that they can't just mess with us without dealing with the consequences. <laughs> Good human. That's what I like to hear. Let's go. After I take care of those assholes, we should practice some self-love, if you know what I mean. You're desperately in need of some. So pent up. My, my. What do I mean? Hmm. <laughs> I'm sure you can figure it out by yourself. <laughs> Hello everyone, it's Prince Kyra, and I just wanted to thank you all for listening to yet another one of my audios. Today I decided to try another one of those darker tones that I know you all enjoy. So, I hope you really liked it. Though, I do apologize if I did scare any of you. I do hope that still... Despite that, if it did happen, that it was enjoyable, nonetheless. Special thank you goes out to all of my patrons, especially that of my beloved pets. Ash3407, Mickey Pele, Ghost, Michelle, T. Briscoe, and Toka. Thank you all so, so much. All of your support genuinely means the world to me. If you are interested in my Patreon and get audios early, or any of my socials, be sure to check in my link tree, which will be in my comments and on my profile. I've been Prince Kyra, and remember that your prince loves you all. Mm.